Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be talking to you about this 2004 S350. Um, as you may have heard in other videos, I've, I've owned a number of W220 Mercedes and uh, most of them have been S350s. Um, it was a few years ago, but every time a car comes in like this one, I almost can't drive it because as soon as I do I just fall in love with it especially this this particular car it's done 98,000 kilometers since it was new and it comes in silver with pebble interior pebble is what uh, Mercedes-Benz are calling cream basically and the car's on for just under $25,000 and quite literally just the options on this car would have been at least $25,000. It's very rare to find a silver, or a Zircon silver this colour is, Zircon silver Mercedes-Benz with cream leather interior. It's got Pirelli tyres all round. Um, I have driven it, I couldn't help myself. I absolutely loved it, it drives perfectly. Some of the options, um, one being very rare, is distance cruise control. And the module's sitting just behind this here. So the car, when you set the cruise control, it'll actually break for you if the person in front of you slows down. It's very good to have if you're using it on the freeway. And it also warns you if, um, basically, if you're getting too close to someone, in terms of safety features, the you know, 2004 even came with pre-safe. So it uses the parking sensors on the front of the car. Um, and uh, it, if it basically thinks there's going to be an accident, it um, closes the sunroof automatically. It's got pre-tensioners in the seat belts. And even if you just touch the brake, it'll, uh, it'll break 80%. So you only have to hit the brake slightly and it will put 80%, it'll do, basically do 80% of the braking power. Um, it's also got, so it's got distance cruise control, a wood grain steering wheel with the optional leather inlay you can see there, which is very nice, I had that on one of mine. It's got push button start, keyless entry, and I don't mean key keyless entry because you don't have to put a key in the door you can actually just walk up to the door with the key in your pocket and open it it's also got a rear blind now it's got back headrests like all mercedes have and at the click of a button they go down like they've been doing since the uh, the mid 80s uh, but with the long wheel base if you hold your finger on it the headrests also come up oh you can see i'll just show you down here you've got your start stop switch on the top here you can turn the alarm on and off if um, you're getting too, if you want the car to warn you if uh, you're getting too close to the car in front and you can work out the distance so the good thing about that is that you know you don't want to be a hundred meters behind the car in front of you and the car starts to slow down um, even if you have it on the minimum distance between you and the car in front it's still more than adequate um, I think I mentioned it's got Pirelli tyres all round it's keyless entry from every door, so see how it's got that switch there. I don't have the key in my pocket at the moment. If the car was locked, I'd simply go like that and the car would unlock, and to lock it, I'd press that button. If you don't close the door properly, it's got soft-closed doors. It's a long wheelbase. Look at that legroom. It's got an electric seat switch in the back here, so you can move it forwards and backwards and on the passenger side you've even got a switch so you can control the front seat if you want more room you've got a vanity or two vanity mirrors in the back it's got the standard wheels on it as well which is very good um, they look great with those five spoke 18 inch wheels um, some people put 19 and 20 inch wheels in them which uh, they might look alright but uh, it's going to take a toll on all your suspension. Another option this car has, an electric boot. 
most of these options were only seen on the S600 V12 and even the S600 V12 didn't come standard with a lot of these features. It's got a full size spare. Um, the other good thing about the 2004 S350 is it's got the 112 motor which uh, was the last of the 3.2 litre V6 bought out to a 3.7 litre um, was absolutely reliable and it's got the five-speed transmission the last of the five-speed transmission which again was very reliable and look I've had quite a few cars since my S uh, W220S classes and S350s one thing which was great just put the front seat forward so I can show you so if you need more space and then if you want to move the back seat just go like that incredible um, what I missed, and you know, all the cars I've had since then have been reliable to an extent, but not like the S350. They're just amazing. You know, for the, all the, the different W220s I had, it was just oil, filter, tyres, brakes, the odd engine mount or gearbox mount. They're just so reliable. We've sold these. We had a long, another long wheelbase, uh, same year, and that had 294,000 kilometres. And guess what? It drove just like this one. If they're well looked after, they're capable of big kilometres. So you know, for some people looking at a car like this, they might they might be retired, they might live in the country, I don't know. And they need something which, uh, as people like to say to me sometimes, something which will see them out, for lack of a better description. And yeah, this is a car you could buy it and keep it for 10 years or 15 years or 20 years. It depends on how long you want to you know, keep servicing it for. I think we all know how many old Mercedes we see driving around, even from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. You know, there's people driving around in W126s who drive from Pimble to, uh, to the city every day to work, and they're still going. It's got memory electric seats on the drivers and passenger side. Oh, sorry, I just found another option. It's got Lingatronics, so you can... If you, the click of a button, you can say you enter destination. I'll just cancel it. Cancel. Um, so there's another extra. It really is an incredible car. It's been. It's had every single service done at Mercedes Benz. The oil's nice and clean. As I said, the, it's nice and smooth. The engine mounts are good. In fact, I, I might start it. Ah, I just love sitting in these. I, um, I went into a W221 after my last S class, 220S class, and yeah, it just, it was incredible. The technology was amazing. It just didn't feel like a 220. So it's nice and smooth. There's your rear blind switch. So I'll press that and you'll see in the rear vision mirror here. There she go, there it goes. but really is very impressive. It says the next service isn't due until 10,500 kilometers. Oh, okay, I just found another extra. <laughs> it's, um, it's actually got a tire pressure monitor. Uh, if I was in the market for a W220 series, I would buy this car in a heartbeat. But unfortunately, if I, if I bought every car I, I loved, I'd have far too many cars. Uh, but if you are looking for a Mercedes-Benz S350, you've been looking for a while, you might have been looking for a long wheelbase. You may have been looking for something with cream interior. This is both. And the good thing about having all the options that this car has is we don't say, look, it's got twenty-five or $30,000 worth of options, so we're going to ask another five or 10 grand to, for the car. Once they get to this age, a 2004 S350 long wheelbase with under 100,000 kilometres is basically worth what it's worth. So whoever buys this car is getting the benefit of all these extras, a Mercedes-Benz service history, Pirelli tyres, 
and a beautiful color combination. Um, it does have the two original remote keys and it has always been a Sydney car and I think every single service has been done at uh, Rush Cutters Bay, Mercedes Benz and a couple at Sydney, at uh, Mercedes Benz of Sydney. But uh, I should probably finish up. I, I just can't, I keep looking at it. I keep looking at the beautiful interior and the timber. If you have any specific questions about this car, please give us a call. I'd like to think that I could help you with just about any question you would have about the this particular car, having owned a few of them, um, whether it be mechanical, reliability. I'd be more than happy to help you where I can. But uh, if you are interested in this car, I'd give us a call on 02956999999. I don't think it's a car that's going to last very long in this condition in a long wheelbase with all these fantastic options. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this video. We are located in Marrickville. We're only 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. You've probably heard two or three planes fly over while we've been here. Thanks again for watching.